Well, report your damage now. Cameron County emergency management officials want people to be proactive in requesting the help they need. Channel 5's Daisy Martinez explains why officials say this is so important. Right now, Cameron County is compiling information in an effort to get federal funding for those affected. They hope a new call center will help. The calls slowly started coming in. Hey, calling Cameron County Call Center. This is Erica. How many help you? Some of the questions that we've been getting are like, what are we going to do about the mosquitoes? Uh, is, uh, how's the pumping going? And what are we going to do about any cleanup efforts? Cameron County Emergency Manager Tom Hushin says folks throughout the county want answers. They want to know what's next. He says many areas are still dealing with excess water. Others have dried up. Hushin tells us in order to have a shot at federal funding, folks need to document their damage. Well, depending the way FEMA decides, if, it, if the water gets up to the house and touches the house, your house is affected, and we know that it's affected. If it goes inside about an inch, two inches, it becomes minor. What we're talking about major catastrophic is when you have four to six feet of water within your home. Hushin says pictures can serve as documentation. After that, Folks should get started on the cleaning process as soon as possible. If you don't clean up, you have a mold issue, you have a lot of uh, insects, you have a lot of rodent problems, things like that. Alfredo Esquivel has lived on Aurora Street in Brownsville for 26 years. He says flooding is common here. Mucha gente se les metió el agua aquí a las casas. Se nos daña este, el dragway, todo en las casas. Se pudren todo. Esquivel says the water didn't go inside his home. He shows us where the real damage is being felt, his driveway. He says he can't afford to fix it. Que nos oigan, que nos den servicio. Que nos den servicio porque pagamos taxes y todo, ¿verdad? Hushin says there is help for folks like Esquivel. They also give out low, very low interest loans. So if you wouldn't qualify for FEMA, it doesn't mean it's the end of the world because then you automatically go to SBA. Hushin says help is just a phone call away. Now, if you live in Cameron County, you can call any of these helplines from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hushin says it's vital for folks affected to call these helplines. The county must prove to FEMA that this is a disaster zone before they can get funding. From the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.